Hi guys, Tanya here with the Conservancy of Southwest Florida. And I'm just out and about exploring my own backyard and I stumbled upon this tree with a really cool plant inside. So I wanna point out that right there. That is a type of air plant, or as we scientists like to call it, an epiphyte. Now epiphytes are really cool because they actually only grow on other plants. They don't harm the plant or the tree in this case that they are living on. They just use it as a place to root themselves and then they can grow just fine with these aerial roots and then connect themselves to whatever branch or tree that they're on. So this one right here is a type of air plant that likes to bloom. It's called the cardinal air plant. So you can see some of the bloom is still there up in the tree. That pink part there, really cool. So I'm continuing on my walk and I found some more air plants or epiphytes to point out. So if you look way up there, we have some smaller ones and a couple of different types as well. So there's one sticking to the bark and a couple of ball moss epiphytes as well. Pretty cool. Hope you guys are finding epiphytes in your backyard. Now air plants like this one up here start off as just seeds floating in the wind. It's very rare for them to even latch onto the perfect spot on a tree where they're able to wrap those roots around and hang on tight. If they do able to latch on, they can grow into a full-size plant. All they need is a little bit of sunlight, water from the rain, or just condensation and a safe place to live. I actually found an epiphyte on the ground, uh, which is really common when we get strong winds or storms. All these small branches will fall off of trees and along with it, whatever piece of air plant or epiphyte was attached to it. Uh, this one here is called ball moss. It's related to the Spanish moss, which you've probably seen hanging in the trees, especially here in South Florida. It's not really a moss at all. It's a type of epiphyte. And these are really common and you'll find them growing, growing in clusters. So their seeds will all take off in one spot and usually latch on to a similar area. So you'll find all these tiny ball mosses growing within one tree or in trees, trees nearby. So definitely look for that as you're on your hike. And if you ever do find a piece of epiphyte on the ground, pick it back up, stick it back in a tree or a bush so it has a chance to survive. Epiphytes come in all shapes and sizes, and I love finding the tiny ones on my epiphyte scavenger hunt, like this one right here. It's so little. Now, I challenge you guys to go in your backyard and see how many different types of air plants you can find in the trees around your area. Good luck.